Hello, and welcome to Brand Clarity by Visions to Images, where we focus on strategy and business development for entrepreneurs at all different levels through branding and digital marketing techniques. Susie Libertor is the founder and art director of Visions to Images Creative Services, LLC. For the last decade, she has personally been instrumental in bridging gaps between the global digital market and neighborhood locations for some of the biggest brands around. Growth is possible for even a single location with the right professional branding techniques and Susie's signature strategies of Visions to Images. Stand out from your competitors and bring your visions to life while watching your sales skyrocket. Your host for this is Susie Libertor, owner of Visions to Images. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Brand Clarity Podcast. Today, I want to talk to you guys about the benefits of WordPress. We've heard it time and time again, and so many times people come to me and they have their website on Wix, Weebly, GoDaddy, Squarespace. They have them on all these different platforms, right? And a lot of times, it's good to start with one of those if you're just starting off. But eventually, when you're really trying to grow your business and really trying to take it to the next level, having a WordPress website is a must. And I'm going to take you through the top reasons why a WordPress website is better for that next step. And you know, and have, everybody's at different stages in their business, but regardless, your end goal for your website should be to get on some type of platform such as WordPress. This is probably the best top rated one. And I've always worked with WordPress period. And it's an overall great thing. So let's dive in. So WordPress WordPress is so powerful, okay? You're going to hear that a lot throughout this one. It's not just for blogging. It also offers a lot of purposes. It's used to run complex sites. You can run e-commerce. You can manage small business and create blog. But you can also have a portfolio, host a social network, or even a podcast. Whatever you want to do, WordPress can do it for you 100%. So there's no real way to say, oh, is WordPress the right thing for me? Of course it is. You can do so much. And the best part about it is, is you can have everything go together, right? So you can have a blog, you can have your podcast, you can have your e-commerce shop, and then a little bit about your company as well. So it has all of these great features to it that will help you with the long run of things. So that's just one of the many benefits. I know some other websites, they get better as time goes on. You know, some of them are always adding in other features such as adding an e-commerce and stuff like that. So what is more? Like, why do I need WordPress? Why? So here, it's user-friendly even for beginners. So it can be up and installed and running in a matter of minutes. Now, you still need to hook it up, set it up, make it design, make it on point with your brand, all of those things. But the reality is, is it can be updated quickly and easily. That is one of the many benefits of it, right? So we just plug stuff in. But if you are looking for something more than just a template, that's when hiring a team or an agency like ourselves is beneficial because we can take that template and or customize a whole new look that's different from the template and fits your brand cohesively. So that's one of the many benefits. Whereas all these other platforms, you don't really get to do too much with them and you don't get to customize as much as you think. It's a lot of plug and play, but this one can really add some additional coding into it. And then you can adjust so much, right? So you can adjust the site's heading, the layout, you want to start creating posts, all of these things you can do right inside of WordPress. It's amazing. Hey, hey, let's stop for just one second during this podcast episode. I know you're so excited to get back and listen, but I wanted to chat with you and talk about how we really work with businesses. What we really do is we dive in and we ask so many questions. We go through a series of questionnaires and extensive research to really help you get a clear, identifiable plan of action that needs to happen for your business. If you want to hear more about this, go to visions2images.com, click the contact us button, and we will be happy to set up a time to chat more. Plugins is one of the next biggest things, right? So plugins is something that is an extension on your website. So a lot of times people don't understand what a plugin is. And let me kind of explain it in simple terms. It's where you can add in features such as population. You can add in security, SEO, like all of these have widgets slash plugins, right? So you're able to have all of these things set up for you from a third party, but still on your website. So it has that accessibility, but it also has 
is that authority that they are well good at what they do. With that, you can, you know, plugins can be great for if you have your e-commerce shop. It can be great for if you are trying to have contact forms, if you want shopping carts, galleries, SEO, all of them can be activated or deactivated as the site evolves. So it's not just a one-time thing. You can change them as needed. But the biggest thing I always tell people when you have plugins and even themes in WordPress is you can't just sit back and let it all automate and populate, right? The thing about WordPress is you have to keep updating. And that's why website management is so important and critical because we can go in and update all these things for you and make sure that it's working. I actually have a story real quick about a customer I was working with. She was on WordPress, but she never touched her website in years. And I was in the process of redoing her website. And what had happened is when I went in, her whole site just locked down. The PHP wasn't updated. The theme was outdated. The plugins were outdated. So basically you couldn't even log into WordPress. And so I basically had to recreate a whole new site anyways, on top of, you know, we were already planning on doing that, but we lost all of her stuff. And that's the other biggest thing is always having those backups and that can be installed through a plugin as well. So so when you don't have things updating, it can cause your website to crash. I've seen it firsthand and it could cause a whole bunch of security issues and so much more. So that's my little kind of side story for you. So let me help you get back on track. WordPress sites rank higher than most. And that's just because of the searchability on Google. It ranks higher. WordPress has a tendency to rank higher for keywords because they're being updated and because WordPress has a variety of tools for SEO. So there's tons and tons of tools that you can use for SEO right inside of WordPress, whereas other ones you might have to hand code as well, some keywords and some phrases and do a lot of updating, but there's also plugins that can be beneficial for your website. WordPress sites are mobile friendly. Now this one is a little tricky to understand and to know because of the simple fact that a lot of websites nowadays are mobile friendly and they can be already established in your template. So it's a lot of times not as important because most of the websites are on board with that. But the thing about WordPress too, is you can go in and update how it looks on your website and even do some coding on your phone. If it doesn't look right on your phone, you can go in and hand code some stuff. You can fix it and tweak it in the mobile and friendly responsive. A lot of times when you're in different platforms, you're not really able to adjust too much. And the worst thing that anybody wants is to see your website on mobile looking like crap. <laughs> I mean, how many times have you been on a website where you left it because it wasn't functional, it wasn't easy to navigate, it wasn't any of those things, right? So that's the first and most important thing when you're doing that. WordPress websites have a built-in blog, so it's super easy. It's user-friendly. It's one of the best tools for blogging. I, I mean, I have a personal blog. I have a professional blog. I have podcasts. I have all of those things that are already established, and you can automate it and have have so much more benefit with WordPress blogs. I've worked with clients in the past on different platforms like Wix, Weebly, Shopify, and Squarespace. All of those have blogging features, but they're not nearly as good as the WordPress benefits. So I would highly consider those as well, because if you want to have a blog, which also helps with SEO, I highly recommend that. WordPress also offers support. So they always are responsive. I've been with other website platforms and they are not nearly as responsive as WordPress and they have a bunch of forms and they have so much great stuff going on for them that if you need help and assistance, they're there, they have the chat features. But a lot of times when people hire us, we take care of that stuff for them, right? So we basically either know what to do or we reach out to people. Like if a plugin is broken, it's not working the way it should. We either find a new plugin or we reach out to the people and we say, hey, what's going on with this? Is this going to be fixed or can we find something else to use in the meantime? So a lot there's a lot to a website and it's not as easy as just pushing it out and plugging in information. If you really want to truly grow your business, the content and the images and the branding and everything matters on top of which platform you use. If you're using something mediocre, it's not going to give you as much as you'd hope to get. So that's my little pitch for you guys today. So I hope you gained some knowledge about why WordPress websites are so critical for any business and how they can really benefit you. 
Thank you everybody for listening in on today's brand clarity episode with Susie Libertor. Two things, first and foremost, please, if you liked this episode, please subscribe and leave some positive reviews. Also, don't forget to sign up for Stop Sending Your Customers to the competition and get my insider secrets to compelling branding that converts. You can find that at branding-bridge.com. It's a free workbook for you to check out right now all of the branding techniques and strategies that I use for my paying clients.